So this one is an all-in with like the smaller creature plan. Um, so it's like a pure collected company deck with your pathways, everything like that. Uh, sideboard, you got Red Cat Melee. Spike Field Hazard seems a little weird. I guess it exiles the cat. Doesn't seem... Now nah, we'll try it out how we had it. Glorybringer probably comes in the matchups to go bigger when you're not playing company. Um, I'm going to change this up a bit. I'm not crazy about the Glorybringers. Hazard's fine. Cage. Probably want... Like, it's fine even with Cage, because we can just not play Collected Company against that deck. Like, against the decks where Cage is relevant. And just try to beat them down the other way. I think I want another Red Cat Malia. Braid's fine. And then, um... Ferocidon. Play three of those. We'll try this out. The notable thing is there's no questing beast in this one. So we're going like pure aggressive. Alrighty. Mono black didn't do too well. Let's turn three Ember Cleave people. I don't like seeing the percentages. We are like 200 for most of the month. Nope. Opponents on Luris. The hell is this mana base? Multi fives really annoying. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Um Coco. I think we just put the Cocos back. Jeez, they think Burning Tree Emissary, screw up my hand. It's an interesting take. Hey, I don't have to kill myself. Um... I think we hold this, the Bone Crusher is probably more relevant. Because if they play like, um, they had to play the tap line here because they're playing the desert. Death Shadow. We'll just kill that. So it sets them back pretty big tempo here if they attack in. Can we stop drawing Oasis's? That'd be super cool. Um, were you playing standard or historic, Ben? I'm gonna go Bone Crusher here, because if they kill this, I can always attack in with this. 
probably trade with Wayward here, just to keep it off the battlefield. If you're looking standard, um, Bone Crusher is probably one of the best cards in the format. Standard. Um, so, again, Bone Crusher, very good. Um, I can find you a couple of the lists like that are pretty recent. I don't want to take any more damage here. We don't have the second red, which is a little annoying there. Nice by the opponent. Just in case we draw on Burkleaf. So Ben, you can take a look here. These are all the recent um, mono red decks. Soul Scar. This might just be Luris to hand. Stormfist. So I could sacrifice the... Thanks for the follow, Ben. I could sacrifice the desert, make this bigger. I think we just passed the turn here. Okay, Zerta might be able to get them. This is hurting them quite a bit, too. This can deal some damage. This is likely lures to hands. They have Wayward. They target Bone Crusher. We can only do this at Sorcery, right? Yeah. Um, I think I kind of want to take the two. Gives me an extra card draw. Which at this point, it's hurting them more than it's hurting us. Like, I could chump this for days. Unless they have a way to give it trample. Um, if you have to craft any, like, Bone Crusher is one of the most flexible cards in the format right now. Okay, that's bad. Sorry about that. Client crashed. Okay, love struck. Not the best, but it gives me some blockers. Shatter Skull. Could be decent, actually. We can take out these. They have Luris in hand. Luris can get back Wayward. They have to take a point of damage from the Ruins, though. They also can't Shock in here. We'll block here, because then uh, if we get Trample, it's relevant.
Spellbreakers not enough. So if we do this, I do it for four. We're giving him outs. Actually, no. They're dead now. Okay. So we got him there. Um, this matchup. Clothes seems good. Scavenging uses seem good. Bone Crusher seems decent. Braid is interesting. Probably just want to overload on removal. Love Strucks are a nice wall. So of these, which ones are the worst? So they showed Shock. So on the play, we probably get rid of Robbers. Trim and Ember Cleave. Like, I'm kind of curious if we want... This could just block for days as well. Two cards to cut. So probably a Pelt Collector on the play. Maybe just two Pelt Collectors. Just kind of go like that. Cage might be relevant. But with Ooze, we can eat their graveyard, gain some life. Clothis can hopefully also gain us some life. Just kind of go at them at different, excuse me, at different angles. What is with our deck and just not drawing lions? Keep. We have lions. What more can we ask for? We went last game where we just drew pretty dead. Okay, so it's not the end of the world if they shock this. Having this as well early could be relevant. Okay, so it doesn't look like they have the shock. They go face. That's interesting. Okay, they have red cat melee here. So I think we just go wide here. They'll probably have a harder time dealing with this because I want to have both the tokens out in case they kill my elf. I want to be able to attack in with this. They could just melee this. That's fine because I play out this. Eat. And like if they, okay, so they're not even attacking. Pretty ambitious playing a self damage deck in a meta of Gruel. Like, I know we tried something similar with Mono Black, but your hitters are bigger. Like, they're all in on this Scourge plan. Like, you're playing a lot worse cards in Wayward Guide Beast. Cool. You made me discard two lines.
we can eat something in their graveyard here if they put a creature in. Okay, so Dread Horde, we probably want to get rid of the light up the stage. They can bring Luris to hand. Okay, so this is interesting because Shock can get rid of... I have two 1-1s, one so I'm okay. This forces him to sack a land, which sets him back a little. Kind of wish we shocked that in just to be able to hit another one. Okay, so... I think we do this. Because they have to block one of these now. Because if they block this, they take nine, they're dead. So we're just putting them dead a couple different ways. They've shown discard, so we just play out our lands. Still dead. I think the play was probably Luris, Luris to hand. You play it, it gives you another turn. Okay. I think what I do want is some number of questing beasts in this deck. I think it's a little too all in. I may also want Gallia just as a way to filter. One of the big things with these decks before was you were able to throw away like lands. So I think we go down a cleave, down, down, and then we go How do you spell Gallia? Two Gallias. How many lands are we playing? 16. Is deck really only playing 20 lands? Okay. Okay, let's try it out like that. I think I like that version a little bit better. Pelt Collector, you want it like turn one, but it is conflicting where if you have an elf, you usually always want to play the elf out on turn one. On the play, let's go. This hand is sick. Turn two spellbreaker. Actually, I think what we do this if they don't kill our elf, then we go Pelt Collector Zerta, and then we go Spellbreaker after. Ooh, opponent mulligan twice. I might change put in another basic forest. Our mana base is too painful right now. Houdini, thanks for the follow, appreciate the support. No, don't tap like that. I think 
with the mulliganing, I just want to put as much power on the board as possible. Especially with this being Sultai. This opens me pretty hard for Extinction Event, but... I have him on dead on board next turn. I have two one drops, or two uh, one power. Twelve, that's eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Got him! Okay, so Sultai, Sultai. Um, we'll bring in the oozes, Hazarets, nice. Probably want Ferocidon. Uh, hey, AJ Hoyt. Um, on stream, I just play Magic. Uh, off stream, I play like Pokemon. Um, a lot of it is Magic. What other games do you play? Um, so against this deck, they're probably going to bring in some sweepers. So I do kind of like the haste elements. Robber's decent. I think we trim the Gallias. Maybe trim a Love Struck. A bone crusher. Um, pelt collector's a little iffy. Bone crusher, at least like if it targets, it's something. Let's just get rid of the pelt, these guys, and probably on the play. See, the thing is, ember cleaves the way we get them. Kind of just play it like that. Because I don't want to play too much into Extinction Event. On the draw, I'll put like some more of the two drops in and just try to run them down. This hand's slow. But we have Coco. Well, I click that too fast, so looks like we're keeping. The Spellbreaker is nice, because if they hold up mana that turn, it's kind of null and void. Just going to go haste here. So they have to kill this on their turn, which should allow them to tap out. And then I could just throw down like a Ferocidon. That's actually a very efficient play there. In Innocent Blood's interesting. Um, so I can Coco, I can Bone Crusher and this Zerta. Which I don't think think I mind. I can try to Coco on their turn and then follow it up with two. Yeah, I think we do that. It's more mana efficient. Because if they play Nisa here, It's gonna be Aether Gust, we just put it on top, play Zerta. Next turn I can shock this in, have Coco and Bone Crusher to stomp. Interesting they chose to do that. On their turn. Nikovas, thanks for the follow. How's it going? Okay, so crisis for two. That's fine, because now we just... 
stomp this. Then we Coco. Gotta love the old... You know what, I should have done this in case I found Ferocidon, it would have shut off the life gain trigger. Nice! Um, are you playing Historic or uh, Standard? Girl. I picked up this one off- this is Terra 6 list. I got it off MTG Arena Zone. Uh, I made a couple changes. I played the Questing Beast main, but this one seems to be more all in on company. Are you like heavy onto company or? Okay, so we got. Let's go. You. You. I guess I could Love Struck. It's a bigger body, but Love Struck can attack. So I kind of want to bait the attack on the opponent here. Because then I can Shatter Skull Smashing. I, I'm just playing one. I just like having the option of the, the haste threat. Opponent's thinking here. Okay, so not the most efficient mana this turn, but I get to take the Uro off the battlefield. And they're a couple cards away from escaping it now. Probably in a pretty bad spot here. Yeah, especially with Krasis for six. That just refills their hand. Clothis is a card. Yeah, actually, Mammoth is something I overlooked, and it's probably somewhere I want to be with this deck. Wanted to see if we could hit, uh... Yeah, how many lands are you playing? This one's only playing 20. Seemed a little loose. I didn't make that change. I haven't... Like, the love struck's been okay. Just not, like, thrilled with it. I also don't like these uh, Oasis. Are you playing 18 lands total or 18 lands and then like 24 based on the split? They can't really attack with the Krasis. Are they just trying to... Ah, uh, they're going to get enough for the arrow this game, turn? Shit. We are hoping for one turn to just sneak this Clothis in. At this point, I don't even think Cleave does it. Yeah, okay. I think that number's better. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. They're going to get too much value. We stumbled too much there. Um, I think on the play we want the Gallias. I don't think I want Lovestruck Beasts. They're too situational. Probably run it like that. This at least can have Death Touch. It has Haste. It's a nice top deck. I'm 
run it like that. Are you on uh, three cleaves or four? Go robber here. Burning tree would be a nice draw. Cleave would be a nice draw. Three cleaves, yeah. Next turn we go Spellbreaker, split us up between Extinction Event targets. Want to keep this ooze for when we can play it and immediately eat an arrow. Mm, that's interesting versus Ferocidon. Or versus uh, Uro this turn, so I think we do this. And then I'll play out one of these oozes. The disparity between turret games where you have elf on one and when you don't. It's actually quite impressive. So I think we do this. This way I can start eating at their graveyard, worst case. Here I can go Spellbreaker. So they've already used an event here. Bone Crusher is also interesting. Like we're punished if they have another event. But I think we need to be aggressive and just hidden. I guess we could have done this. Back into top, th almost top thousand. Let me make those changes. I'm finding that I'm taking too much damage from our lions. Okay, so let's play ruins. Play another forest. Trim two love struck, play Kazandu. Okay, so what am I at? 17, 18, 19, 23. So I think I like that from a land standpoint. And then just cut the the love structs all together. I guess it's multiple spells, it helps trigger. Kind of like Clothis main. I don't see us bringing in Cage, so let's play. Just like another braid. We have two red caps. We have the abrades that deals with most stuff. Hazard. Oh, actually, I want cinder vines. 
I'm never gonna bring in this glory bringer. And then Clothis. Yeah, I always like Clothis. Try that out. Glothus is like probably my favorite card from that set. I think that the design space is really unique on it. it was topped like I think we were like four hundred when we started. Went O three with mono black aggro. Individually powerful cards, but it just didn't seem to come together. I lost to like a 90%, which really tanked things. Why can't we get, we're playing 24 lands. Like this hand would be, okay, I'm gonna try this. We have two draw steps, opponent goes first. <sighs> like our hand is gas if we draw a land next turn. One time, jeez. Ah, like you keep this hand, like this is ridiculous. You would have been good last turn. Playing rogues. Yeah, I don't think Scourge is very good. It, there's too many games where that was my only two drop. Are you kidding me? So the opponent's only drawing lands and we are drawing no lands. They don't have pressure, which is nice. Okay, so they have a Wind Robber. Holy, let's go. If I draw a red source, I can Ember Cleave him next turn. If we win this game after missing land drops for four turns. Cool. You have a 2-2. Two, two. I wanted that land. Scavenger. Do want to land here? Sure. Are they gonna block? Oh, I needed to flash it in then. Ah, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Damn it. Ah, I screwed that up. Ah, I needed to flash in cleave in response. Okay, so we're still a land. Drowned, and I'm just taking a ton. Okay, let's just go to the next game. Turns out you need lands. Those are kind of good in this matchup. Um, so the Clothis can eat our graveyard, play that out. And the oozes. Questing Beast could come out. Coco's fine. Surta could come out. Galia's fine. Bone Crusher's good. I think we still keep Ember Cleave just because we want to overpower them. We're on the play. Trim. 
Trim the gallius. We gave him too much time though. Just us never drawing. You gotta keep that hand though. If your hand is just all gas. Okay, this hand's pretty solid. Go like... If we could get another two drop, or if they play like a Merfolk Wind Robber on one. Oh, that's... Uh oh These are the gruel things. Give me a land. Just running lands. It's all I want. Ooze isn't bad. We just haven't been able to draw lands in this game, which is really annoying. Just like instantly wrecks us. Okay, so that's actually pretty good here because if I eat creature, creature, this gets big enough. So we can do that. I can set up for next turn. So I'd probably just do this. Because then I can just pass the turn. Uh, I want to close this. So they can attack us for five. They can hold it back. Ideal, like a braid's the best card we can draw right now. Okay, so that's where we got punished. Okay, they're tapped out. We can't even Ember Cleave because we're missing the second red. Gain five. We hit them back here. They can block here. They just sack that, draws a card. They take five here. Red source into cleave would be decent. This is kind of ridiculous though, just gaining this much. Just not drawing lines. Beat them at this point. Beat them for six. They gain the five back. Cleave doesn't do it. Right, Braids, I guess, an out, but they have a ton of cards. Why are we just not drawing lands? It's not even a good deck that we lost to. Like 17, 21, 23. Let's try one more. I 
again. Just, what is these hands? This is multiple games now that we've mulliganed to like five. Two cards back. One. Two. And just try to go into company. This hand would have been great if we got to keep everything. Ah, hands garbage now. Multi five into Thoughtsies. Oh, it's just Sultai. They got the thirst, man. What's it like to have it all, opponent? Extinction event this turn. Salt Eye is definitely the deck you don't want to be mulliganing against, and game one is usually the one we want to try to win. Jeez. And now they just Uro, they get back Uro, and everything we've done is basically for naught. I don't have an answer to Uro. Just try to draw into Cleave. Oh, they don't have a second green. Okay, so land, we can hit him. Greek Fitness, thanks for the follow. Do you just draw more removal? Multi five thoughtsies extinction event. Okay. Well, if they're doing that, haste haste creature questing beast. It's a creature. At this point, we take those. We will not be picky. Okay, we got one turn. Got him! Multi five. Pro Winston, thanks for the follow. How's it going? Another Clothis, play the Cinder Vines, play the Ooze. Trim Cleave. I think we still want Coco. Uh, Gallias could come out. These could come out. Trim a couple robbers. Trim a couple bone crushers. Actually, probably. Like, I still want cleaves, but they're going to clean our board up quite a bit, so I'd rather space it out. Questing Beast is nice just because it could pressure Nisa. We have lands. 
I think we go Kazandu Mammoth. Next turn. And then if I have the land, I can collect, collect a company. Okay, so they eliminate there. If they go Uro, I'm just gonna eat their Uro. Yeah. Well, collect a company. Thank you, appreciate it. Enjoy playing magic. Just gonna do this now in case they have Heartless Act. This sets me up for Collected Company next turn. Ajoit, thanks for the follow. So here, Extinction Event only gets rid of half my board. If I draw a red source, then I could Ember Cleave. So I did have a reluctance earlier to play out the second uh, pathway because now I don't have red for Ember Cleave. Okay, so we just have ooze here. So they have something. Sure. We have backup ooze. Yeah, Gruel's generally quite powerful. Say Aether Gust here, we just put it on top. Yikes. That was not a great flip. Red source, red source. Cinder Vines is a, a nice one as well. Um, I think we do this, because if they're gonna play a spell, they'll take some damage from it. And then I think we play out Ooze. Aether Gust. That's a real weird one to eliminate. So we'll hold the ooze here. We can eat something on their end step just to get out of their graveyard. I bought him that because I'm looking for a red source. So here they can go even or odd. Okay, that makes a bit more sense with their choice there. So I'm gonna leave up one mana here, just cause I wanna eat Uro if they have an Uro in the yard. Extinction event. So we'll just eat another card in their graveyard here. Kind of annoying, takes us off resources. We really need 
Okay, we'll take that. That's a good one. Collected company would be really nice here for us. This might be Nisa. Just crisis. So we have two creatures in our graveyard. Okay, we have robber as well. So I'm doing this. I eat this, kills their thing. I can eat this at their turn. And I'm just gonna play this out post combat. They've shown two extinction events already. Blood Chief's Thirst. Just get rid of the creatures from the yard. Again, it's kind of annoying. So they had the Euro. They're just trying to play around it. Another robber's not bad. Would have preferred if they just drew lions. Oh my god, they had the pulse too. This guy's got in just pure removal. Okay, they can't play Uro this turn. And I don't really want to crack this yet. Uro's coming down. It's not even just like situationally really efficient answers. So Hazard would be nice. Clothis doesn't really race. Collected Company would be good. Eh, Clothis is something. Can start eating at their graveyard. The problem is they're gaining six a turn. Okay, we're, we're, we're done here. We're done here. Let's go on the play. We want robber. Um, okay, we're going to get rid of questing beast. Do I want the other cleave? The problem is like that game where we just draw cleaves, it, it kind of sucks. So let's just do it like that. When they have nothing but just like removal spell after removal spell. Okay, we're gonna keep this and then hope to draw a red source. Burning tree into robber is decent. Okay, we got the red source. We got there. Hagra's Mauling's decent. We we'll probably just go Ferocid on here. Okay, they go Thirst. Because they can Uro next turn, I want to shut off the life gain that they can get. No double red kind of sucks. Like an extinction event. I honestly kind of just like getting this going early.
They take damage off it. That's probably because they have Uro, so they want to gain that 3 life. It does shut me off another red. Yeah. So that's three cards. That's probably another removal spell because we know they got a ton of those. I don't know how good Gruel's gonna be. It's four cards. I think again we just bring this out. That's the problem. Now they're gonna have Blood Chief's Thirst and escape their Uro. Then we can't do anything about it. It's a decent draw. Just go maximum damage here. The Hagra's mauling we can use to kill this potentially. Can't really shark typhoon here. That's like the best option for them. I probably would have done the robber though. Because now with Hagra's mauling I can take uh, this off the battlefield. They just have like eliminate as well. Getting a second one of these down will be good too. I think we put it on top. Because I just do this and then play out Robber of Riches. This is a bit of a problem. Because they really don't have to play out anything else after this. I mean, we just. I think we just gotta go for it. Try to push as much damage as possible on them. They get the block here, they go to six. If I draw another. Yeah, I just... They had a lot of targeted removal that we saw in those games, so it's just little chip damage. They might be gaining too much like incidental life anyways. But like here, they don't need to play out anything. Smashing takes out a land. Doesn't do enough. Guess it keeps me alive one more turn.
I just gotta play to like Embercleave. That Sultai matchup's gonna be hard. Oh, you know what we need? We saw so much of that removal. Uh, Gar Garuk's Harbinger. That also will help with like the card advantage element. Okay, let's fix this up. Okay, so I like the robbers. Kazandu is fine. Questing Beast is there. You're fine, we have that. Cinder vines, a braid, red cap. Let's trim down a ferocidon. Trim down. Honestly, Hazaret. Play. Garrick. Harbinger here. Honestly, I'd rather this be Vivian. Alright, let me just give the client a quick reset. We'll play one more. One of the issues I always found with like the burning tree, you get the really powerful draws, but you're not getting like consistent, like when you kind of run out of cards. We could also try like an adventure style shell, but then you only have eight cards to draw off a uh, thing. Ideally, you want another like one mana accelerant. And I think we might want just a straight way to exile graveyards, other than news. It's not great, but... It's something. So this will probably be Burning Tree Stomp the Elf. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a Burning Tree Stomp Marwyn. Elves is a critical mass deck, so you want to take them off. I think we just get Clothis going this turn. No, we probably go... So they missed the land, which is interesting. But I think I want to advance my board. Because they're not going to double block here. So we just want to punish them. That's pretty decent. So I can Gallia to try to ditch Clothis to get... Come on, Arena. Or I can just Spellbreaker for more damage in. I think we do this. Try to find a land. Okay, so we got Collected Company. Not a red source, but something
I want to take them off one of their lords. Six mana. Jeez. Okay. So... Take him off one of these. If we lose to the elves, then I'm I'm done. <laughs> Can we draw a red source, please? It'd be super cool of you. We've drawn four extra cards. Because now they're just like ready for Crater Hoof. Jeez, and they topped deck the Crater Hoof. Ah, Ferocidon, these. Probably that. Don't want. You're too slow. You're too slow. On the play, we can probably keep you in. Trim one of you. That game was just consistently us. If we had another red, we could have done so much with our... Jeez. Why is the mana so bad? Play this out first so we know what we want. They don't have a dork on one, which is fine. We go Kazandu tap tier, a braid, whatever they play. And then just go into Coco. Because we can hit stuff with haste, I'm going to do this main phase. So we have Robber and Kazandu. Is probably the best. A lot of power on board. This can make their other stuff bigger. Yeah. This taps for decent chunk of change. Well, we attack. See how they block here. So we kind of trade our board with their board, but we have an active board state. Okay, got him. The red base removal should help in this matchup. Um, so we still want Ember Cleaves on the play. I think we trim a robber because they get blocked by everything. Put in Vivian. Um, there's a chance we get into board stalls, so maybe we want Clothis. For bigger stuff. The amount of games we've mulliganed has been absurd with this deck. I 
I actually can't cast anything else in this hand unless I draw a red source. Red source. Fuck. Because we really want to take Marwen off. This gets much bigger. We can't kill this now. Jeez. We got a 5-5. Five, five. Yep, yeah, and we're dead. Okay, we need to put... Um... This mana base isn't working. So I don't think we want these. I think we want root bound. We've consistently missed our mana too much. Keep so it's a little awkward with these rootbound crags at times because they will come into play tapped. I think just based off basic mountain, making this a three three is more relevant. And here, let's just get Clothis going. The earlier Clothis comes down, the better. If this is mono red. The life gain that it'll provide will be reasonable. Yep, yeah, they can't beat close this main. Okay, so it's likely mono red, so just removal, oozes, those, take out Vivian, take out Gallias, take out Robbers, take out some of these. I think we're Okay, running it like that. Maybe should have trimmed the cleave on the play. Sounds good. Oh, they're goblins. Gobagoos. We just kill this now. Because next turn I can go Burning Tree and Abrade whatever they play. This is good. Because then I can. Schlug! Thanks for the follow. I can play this tapped if need be. If they play out, oh, actually, this is a braid I want to keep for this Krenko since they showed it. Also, taking this out, they don't get to make the tokens. Okay, so here, let's just go. Attack. Bone Crusher. Take two. They play Cranko, I abrade it. Play this. I go Chieftain. This is an interesting line. Because I think. Because they're just going to chump afterwards. So I can play Kazandu and then set up for Embercleave. 
or I can abrade. So they play this out. They make two zo goblins. I think we just go for the cleave line. They can't really... do too much here. Like they can attack in, but it's throw away. So if I attack with both, cleave costs three. Or cleave costs four. See how they block. Oh, you're just basically dead. Can they kill me this turn? Maybe. Twelve, ten, fourteen. Sack this, activate castle, I'm dead. See if they see the line. He uh, might have quit that first one. Hand was too slow. Okay, so we're against goblins, and we do want ferocidons. Um, bone crusher is reasonable. Let's take out the oozes. They're not as good. Also, probably just play a second one of these. Was it safer that turn to just... We probably should have taken the more conservative line and stomped the war chief and then killed the Krenko. Sounds good. Ideally, if we hit a two drop here, it would be nice. Okay, magma spray. Braid's decent because it lets me untap and then go. into these spell breakers. I think we wanna hold off. Just get some damage here. Shepsabak, thanks for the follow. Braid. Yeah. I did the riskier line there. So opponent missed land. I think again here we just go haste. I got a little too loose on that line there. off here because now I can go abrade this play elf and then next turn ember cleave they kill the elf or kill this I have frosted on seen three pieces of removal out of them thus far Got 
that's also extremely good. So we were being patient with this Ferocidon. We wanted to leave it back to have some some answers. Okay, so they had the melee. Opponent is removal city. Four pieces of removal in their hand. Uh, let's let them go to attacks first. Okay, so everything's alive, draw. It's not bad because it kills basically every creature they would play at this point. But if Chieftain, do I care more about Snoop or Chieftain? Probably Chieftain, to be honest. This puts him close to dead. I have this abrade that we can kill this. They hit me for five. So I'm going to let them go to blocks and then I'm going to abrade it. Actually, I could have killed it. I should have killed it first. That doesn't matter. Okay, so they can't play a creature. If they play a creature, they die. We got there. Alright, so I'm not 100% set on a list yet. We've tried out a few variations. Like, there's power to this deck. I just feel like it's catch-up mechanics. Like, if you're not drawing company, it's a little weak. I feel like this is kind of...